You okay? Hey, Declan. Hey. I thought you should have this back. It was very gentlemanly of you. Oh, yeah. We porters are descended from a long line of gentlemen. I'm headed to the hospital to check in on Amanda and the latest little porter. You want to come with? Uh, you know, you might want to wait. Uh, Jack said they may try to bring her out of it today. Does that mean she's okay? I hope so, for everyone's sake. But I got to get this stuff done so little Carl has a home to come back to. Okay, I guess I'll see you around. Declan, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the bar. This is your big night. Well, you think I'm going to let you handle this thing with your family on your own? Not this time. I'm not reaching for any more pills, if that's what you're worried about. No, that's not why I came here. I didn't mean I'm not glad you came. Because I am. The truth is, the only time I remember being happy this last year was when I was with you. to come aboard. Charlotte, I'm sorry. I should have called you back. I just... It's okay. I know you were just trying to keep me out of danger. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Amanda told you about the Ryans? Listen, my dad said you can come stay at our house until this whole mess is resolved. I gotta stay put. I gotta know when it's coming in here and just ripping away everything my dad worked so hard to give us. Hey, if Jack and I are going down, it's not going to be without one hell of a fight. <laughs> Don't you think my parents should pay for Jack and Amanda's wedding, considering Amanda never even called a lawyer after cartwheeling off the second floor balcony? It'd be stupid not to offer. Earth to Declan. Come in, Declan. Okay. When Nate and Kenny come back in here, I need you to help me do something, okay? Sure. What? Mm. Get this. My mom's latest charity case, ex-convicts. Which is cool, but I don't know. They're all so damaged. Prison seems like hell. <laughs> what? Did I say something wrong? Don't. Little brother, she doesn't want to hear about that. Where'd your boyfriend go to get more bourbon in Kentucky? Hey, you know what? I'll go check on him. He probably got lost. Wait. What? You don't want me to hear? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, back when I was young and dumb, I used to live with a bunch of guys who were, uh, what? Purveyors of recreational curiosity, shall we say. DEA busts in, they raid the place. Guess who's the only sucker at home? You, oh my god. I went inside for five years for something I had nothing to do with. And I'll tell you something else. It isn't like hell. It is hell. Seriously, I never would have guessed. Yeah, well, I guess I clean up nice. Obviously, your boyfriend did get lost. I'll be right back. Wait. I'll go get him. No, I'll tell you what. You stay here. I'll go get him. Okay? What the hell is taking you so long? Nothing. It's just really hard to find stuff with all your junk in the way. I mean, what is it anyway? Wholesale coffee beans. It's a side business, and it's none of yours. You love breakfast for dinner. What's wrong? Nothing. 
It's just gonna suck when you burn this boat down. You need to relax. hidden in the bilge. Oh my god. My brother gives you a pass. This is how you repay him? What pass? Declan, what's he talking about? The kid broke into my brother's house a couple months back. We never said anything because Kenny figured he learned his lesson. Obviously, he got it wrong. Declan Porter, you're under arrest. No, wait, 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 stop. Wait. It's mine. Jack. All of it. Jack! The boat's in my name. My brother had no idea there were drugs hidden on it. Then Jack Porter. You're under arrest for possession with intent to distribute and possession of a firearm. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. To be falsely accused is a gut-ripping experience. Okay, time of death is 3.05 p.m. Don't be so hard on yourself. That thing is practically as old as my mother. What are you doing here? Charlotte. Hello, Declan. Hello. I've come to invite you to the house. It's the end of summer, it seems we've barely seen you, and tonight's our annual Labor Day party, and things just would not be the same without you there. Oh, she needs me for another publicity stunt. Thank him. Okay. You've wasted your time coming here. Dad only needs the Grayson family by his side, and I'm a Clark now. Something to be ashamed of. Now, if you recall, after our last publicity stunt, I embraced your paternity. And I can see that you've inherited far more than David's surname. I'm not ashamed of you, darling. I'm very proud of you. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. But I'm sorry, I can't fake any more Grayson smiles. Oh, Charlotte, please. If not for your father's benefit, do it for that overheated infant. It's clear that he needs a quiet, temperature-controlled space. And Declan can attest to how difficult it is to find a repairman on Labor Day. Yeah, she's right about that. And look, he needs rest, and so do you. And I gotta get back downstairs. Fine, but only if Declan can join us after he finishes his shift. Of course. Yeah, thank you. I'll get Carl's things. Charlotte, are you looking for an escape route? Declan, you made it. Where were you all day? Did you skip school? I tried calling you. And... Sorry, my day just slipped away. Well, you are. Hey, man. Hi. Eli James. Declan. Eli grew up with Amanda. Declan is Amanda's brother-in-law. And your boyfriend? Oh. Huh. Oh, Charlotte here is a sweetheart. She was nice enough to show me around the island today. So that's where your day went? Can we talk? Sure, but can it wait? There are a few people I wanted to introduce Eli to. Hey, man, why don't I get you a drink? You look like you could use it. You know what? I'm good. You guys go ahead and, uh, you should call me when you're not so preoccupied. Just to rattle these corpses, I would have come as Amanda Clark. Though I guess that is letting it up. True. <laughs> is it also true that the baby only survived the fall because she was rocking a tequila placenta? Shut up, Regina. Sorry, Harlot. I'm kidding. I mean, everyone knows that drugs made Amanda think she could fly. Uh, Harlot! Uh, what just happened? You okay? Hey, no, uh, no, you guys gotta go. Uh, now, go. Uh, what happened, you okay? You wouldn't believe what they were saying. It's too hard worth it. You gotta let it go. I want to, but I can't. The only way I'll make it through Harvard is if you're by my side. Your grades won't matter as much if you crush the SAT, top it off with a killer essay, and a letter from my father. No, I, I just don't think I'm a Harvard guy, sure. I was thinking more like NYU or something, but they want a killer essay too, and I haven't even started the first sentence. Well, look, I'll come over tonight and help you out with it. By the time we're through, there won't be a dry eye in that admissions office. Thank you. Good luck. I think you'll need it. You sure know how to hit a bitch. Looking for round two? Relax. It's a compliment. So you're overachieving Ivy Leaguer now. Last year, weren't you spoiled, angry party girl? Which one's the real Charlotte Grace? It's Clark. What do you want, Regina? <laughs> oh, it's Declan. I completely forgot to cancel with him. Go. I'm right behind you. Declan. 
Brooklyn. Charlotte, hey. I thought you were gonna help me with this essay. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just my parents have this stupid interview, so they've hidden me away in the tower to maintain the family image. Well, then why don't I come to you? I can bring Carl, and, and he'd love to see you. I know his uncle would, too. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Look, I promise I'll help you tomorrow. I really gotta go. Hold on. I... Can you check again? We're on the list. Excuse me. Sir, can you please it's check one more? under Grayson. Hey, Charlotte, over here. Close for the camera. Hey, come on, have a smile, ladies. <laughs> Feel like putting on a show? your phone. I figured you'd be here. Uh, stalker. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm worried. I'm fine. I just... <laughs> Wait. She sees you, she pukes. Shut up. Guys, enough. Come on. She's sick. Hey, Charlotte. Hey. Come on, we gotta go. Come on. A little too much to drink, young lady? I'm not drunk. You're not 21 either. She's fine. I'm gonna take her home. Charlotte, come on. Charlotte Grayson, right? One of you might want to call Daddy Warbucks. Tell him his princess is being booked downtown. Hey, hey, what? Hey, thank God. I went to the police. They said Daniel bailed you out after the blackout. So I came here. I figured you'd be here across the street. You shouldn't be here, Declan. Why? What happened to you? I told her everything. How you freaked out and shoved me to the street when I said you weren't good enough for her. Wait, you, you told her that I did that to you? You're completely psychotic. Look at his hand. Look, Charlotte. Oh, God. I, I told you. This is, I, I got this trying to bust out of the ATM vestibule that we were in. That must have been when he stole the bail money. What are you talking about? I didn't steal a thing from you. Check his pockets. No, you know what? Oh, my God. Wow. Can we get some help here, please? She is lying. I'll take I didn't that. Take any... Thank you. We got a problem, young man? No, there's no problem. She's. Yeah, all right. Let's go. She's lying. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. It's just Declan just freaking out like that. Stealing your money, it doesn't sound like him. Yeah, well, yet another example of people showing their true colors under pressure. You don't need him to raise the baby. We could do it together. Charlotte, would you please just listen to me? I swear to you, I never laid a finger on Regina. She, she faked those bruises, and, and I didn't take any money either. She must have planted it on me. And why would she do that? Because she's in love with you or obsessed. Or I just listen to me. Check her phone. She's got that, that internet video of you two kissing downloaded like some stalker. But you know what? I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Your mother told me about the baby. My mother? You know what? I think it's great. I just want to see you. I mean, if you would just tell security to, to, to let me into the press conference. I'm not even there right now. Are you with Regina? No, 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 I'm, I'm with Daniel. Where? Hello? Did you download that Trendist video of us onto your phone? No. Did Declan just tell you that? He's a total liar. And a thief. Let me see your phone. No. Bye, Regina. I just want to go home. Okay. Watch your back. Come through. Declan! Like, clear the way now. Come through. Move out, please. Oh, God! Declan! Please, please, step aside. Oh, my God. Is he going to be okay? Oh, God! Declan! What were you doing in there? Hi. Uh, you can go in for a few minutes, okay? He's a very brave young man. Oh my God, Declan. I am so sorry. I never should have listened to Regina. None of this would have happened. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. I'm just, I can't believe you waited out there all night. Well, the doctors wouldn't tell me anything. I was sick with worry. 
You know what they say, I'm gonna be fine. Thank God. I cannot face all of this without you. You are stronger than you think, Charlotte. I need you to believe that. If they're all with us as parents, the kid's gonna be a handful, isn't he? Are you sure that's what you want? So you? You're gonna be a great mother. Based on what? I have the worst role models in parental history. You know exactly what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to see. Go home and get some rest. If not for yourself, then at least for the baby. Time you see me next, I'm gonna be as good as new. <laughs>